Good morning, boys and girls. It is, uh, what is it, middle October? Something like that? Yeah, a little past it now. So we're gonna do something this morning. I've got Jason with me. Jason is from Nacogdoches, SFA boy. He is, uh, he has a company called Photography by JR. And the lake is almost six feet low. And there's a lot of stuff up out of the water that we haven't seen in years. So we're about to redo, well, we're about to do something everybody's asked me for for years, which is the North End Math Tips. But we're gonna do math, math tips, math. You don't want me doing math tips. No math today. Uh, we're gonna do the map tips up here. And uh, we're gonna do it with a really, really nice drone that we're gonna lay waypoints on top of, as well as showing you guys some Google Earth images. This is gonna be a whole series. I've got him for a long time today. And yes, I spent money. Those guys will be a stun that I spent money. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go up the lake we're gonna show y'all some boat runs. We're gonna show y'all some scary places. And we're gonna show y'all how the grass lays out a little further down the lake. So, uh, you ready? Let's go. I got bad hair. Uh-oh. And I got something stuck behind my throttle. As long as you don't have a bad boat. As long as I don't have what? As long as it's not a bad boat, bad hair is okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna take off now. We're sitting in the back of Harvey. You see we're right there. You can see it's full of grass. See, we got a open guy over there practicing in his Yamamoto boat. And we're just gonna give y'all Harvey Creek with some beautiful grass back here. Gonna be a bunch of fish caught back here in the next couple of springs if this grass stays like this. So here we go. And lift off. So we're going to take off here. We'll show you as we come back. You'll get a real good sense of where we're starting. But we're starting just beyond the big, or just past the big bay on the left. And what I realized as soon as we started shooting this video is, oh crud, I didn't show you something that we really need to show you. So I'm going to show you here in a second how far I normally run back here at pool. So remember, this is almost six feet low. This is about five and a half feet low. And what you'll see, I'm going to go to a Google cutout here from 2011. You see that roadbed running across right there? So we started kind of down towards the bottom of this picture, actually a little below where this picture starts. And what you'll see, if I, if I tighten up on where that roadbed crosses is, hmm, something's sticking out of the water. And that something is railroad ties. And they are definitely still there. And they are either just above the water or just below the water. So I'm just going to throw you a waypoint right here. Punch that into your system because where I normally run to is a little bit past this. So have that in there. Don't get within, I'd say, 30 or 40 yards because there's several of those across the creek right there. Just stay out of the creek where that roadbed crosses. Drop that waypoint. This is about where I normally run to. This is just before where the timber picks up. And you can see that bad spot over there on the right. So... It's all woods from here back. This is about where you want about where you want to shut down so that you don't start running over big stuff. And there's some scattered stuff even out in the mouth of it from here, but I always consider it's one of those you just got to get really unlucky to clip something. So let's go back to the drone footage here and we'll kind of go down through what all uh, Jason shot for us. He shot some beautiful video for us here. So you can see right coming down through here. Now, by the way, I call this Harvey Creek. I think if you noticed on the Google map, it calls it Ware Creek. Everybody I know of calls this Harvey Creek. So uh, the creek winds through here. This is an absolute mix of hydrilla, lily pads, coontail, bank grass. There's some hyacinth back here. There's just a little bit of everything back here. I did not go on back in the back in years past. There's also been some of that nasty... Uh, Oh, the stuff we're trying to eradicate down there in the back. I can't think of what it's called right now, but uh, some of that stuff's been back there too. Uh, and you can kind of see, and I'm going to drop a waypoint here for you in just a second to kind of give you a sense. But this is all really, really well mapped on, uh, on both Navionics and Lake Master maps at this point. So most of this stuff, I was really just looking at the grass, wanting to get a sense of what all was back here. And then you'll see we're going to do a swoop across the other side because I was looking for features that aren't on the map, just trying to find some new stuff. We caught a Bassmaster guy coming out of the back right there. He was back there practicing. There were several, several guys back here practicing. Obviously, been some fish getting caught back here. So 
that is this little swing we're going to show you when we go back to the camera right there. So there's the waypoint just to give you a sense of how far back here we really are. Uh, that's that little swing right there that boat's just come through. The creek then turns, goes right up against, and by the way, that's a little bay to the right there normally. You see that super shallow spot, so there's a bay where that, where that right in the top of your screen there, where that uh, creek swings, there's kind of a little oxbow in there. It's just a real shallow little oxbow that doesn't show on here. And then you go on up, you get a couple of really, really nice creek swings up here. And man, again, I just, I can't say enough how good a footage he shot. He shot this in a resolution I've never shot in before. And uh, it's some beautiful, beautiful work. We're going to give you another waypoint up here in just a second. You're going to see this creek runs up there. It runs pretty straight here for two or three hundred yards. It's going to make a right-hand turn. And then it makes a really sharp left-hand turn. And another little drain. You see it right there comes into the creek. So I'm going to show you just short of that another waypoint again so you kind of have a sense of where you are back here. And it is right there. So there's that waypoint, 15856, 15492. And then this is the part where he said, what do you want me to shoot? And I said, man, just shoot it all. I'm just curious what's back there. So he winds on back. You see there's another little drain that winds across back there. And by the way, you can see that on that old Google Earth image. It's actually harder to see. There's some other. images I'll show you here in a second I think it's from like 09 when it wasn't 12 feet low or 11 feet low it gets really hard to see when it's completely dry it's a lot easier when there's just a smidge of water in this which is part of why I was so excited about shooting a whole bunch of this stuff and as we swoop through here I'm going to tell you what we've got shot so far we've got uh, the deer stand we've got Stanley Creek the long cut the short cut uh, we've got the uh, the deer stand, I think I already mentioned that. We've got uh, the canyons, we've got pofers, we've got white oak, and then we've got Duranzo way up the lake, and we've got a flyover all the way to the 103 bridge to kind of show you how to get around up there. So, and by the way, I did hit one really, really hard. Now, this is a really cool little spot right here. I don't know exactly what this is. So there's a little, see that dead straight piece of water right there on the left hand of the screen? And I'm going to show you where that pops out right here. Okay, so there's that little straight drain you saw right there coming out of the woods. And there's a bunch of willow trees right in the mouth of it. Uh, you can see it up there at the top. It's, uh, what is it, 31, 15, 7, 11, 94, 15, 261. And this is, by the way, a, um, a, uh, a format that you can enter these latitude, latitude, longitude, in I think every kind of unit. I know for sure you can enter them in a hummingbird. And if you can enter them in a hummingbird, I'm almost certain you can enter them in a uh, a Garmin or in a uh, or in a low ranch as well. So uh, I'm going to show you that and you can see all those creeks back there. There's some really cool stuff back here. So let's go back to the drone footage. All right, so we're working our way on back out. We're coming from the other side. You can see our, the boat way out there in the future to give you a sense of how far we've gone. You see the guy still idling back out through the creek. And you see there's a bunch of high spots back there, a bunch of real high spots. We're going to sweep around here, and again, I told him, I said, there's some really neat little drains uh, on the left of this picture, which would be on the right coming in. There's that little drain I showed you a second ago. That's a way better view of it right there. He's going right down the pipe. Then there's a big bay out here. And then you see there's some just real, real subtle little drains winding around in there. Of course, some of them are just animal tracks through the water, but there's some really neat little drains. And then there's a couple of big drains up here on the left. That timber on the right out there, i got to tell you a funny story on myself. I actually found a group of fish out there on a big spider stump, and I had one cast. I had just a setup that I could get, but every cast, it was in my last boat in my Ranger. And when I transferred all my waypoints to a card, I then accidentally reformatted that card to use it for video, and I don't have that waypoint anymore. Now, I haven't been back there. Obviously, you probably sitting on the bank right now, but hadn't been back there since then. So that's the point up there in front of us you're going to see. And there's, all, there's one last really interesting little feature up here. It's on the map. There's a pond sitting out here in the middle. Actually, if you noticed earlier, there was another pond we flew over from one of the Google Earth. Go back to one of the very first Google images I showed you on here and you'll see there's another little pond right next to that roadbed. But you're going to see as we go through here, 
And there's our road bed coming out on the other side. You see it right there. I'm sure we overflow an alligator mixed in here somewhere as well. Somebody's pontoon boat is going to be really hard to get back in the water right there. Another little drain running in there. And you're going to sweep around. And if you see right out here in front of us in just a second, see that hole in the grass right there? Let me show you what that is. That hole in the grass is a little pond that normally is about 10 or 11 feet deep in the middle of it. It's got a nice little dam on the end of it. And I'll give you a waypoint on it right here. It's on, again, it's on Google Earth. You can find it, but it's just a neat little feature. And there's your waypoint for that little pond, which is pretty cool. And now we're going to turn and you're going to fly right back across. You can see our boat sitting out there. We're going to go right back to the boat. And again, you can see, I mean, that's just a big flat with a, just a bunch of grass scattered all out across that flat. Uh, that is Harvey Creek. That's something else I want to share with you all right there, and I can't think what it is. But that gives you a real good sense of just uh, what the back of the creek looks like. And by the way, I, if, you haven't, if you're watching this on your computer, go back and watch this footage. I've got a 70-something inch TV at the house, and it is just spectacular watching this footage on that big TV. So uh, we're going to show you this. And what I'm going to do is every Tuesday, I'm going to show you a video like this. And then on Thursdays, I'm going to show you all running videos. So this coming Thursday, we're going to show you all the video. There goes our boat right there. We're going to show you all the video. Uh, I think we're going to start out, we'll either start out with running Bird Island because it's a little spooky right now. That's probably the next video we should look at. And then we'll look at the long cut, the short cut, the Ewing cut. And uh, beyond the Ewing cut, going all the way up to the 103 bridge. And then we're also, we haven't filmed it yet, but... We're also going to try to get up and film some river stuff too, so hopefully we'll get up there and get that done for y'all. I'm hoping this week, but it doesn't look like the weather wants to cooperate. So as soon as it does, I've got Jason getting out again, and we're going to get some more footage. And you guys use him, so maybe he'll do this for me a little cheaper in the future, and we can do the whole dadgum lake. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that.